This is a 360 degree video. Swipe left or right across your mobile device or click and drag with your desktop mouse to look around. Enjoy! Welcome to Peter and Ellie's Sheep Farm. This 360 virtual tour will show you how they raise their animals. This is the pasture where the sheep graze as a flock. Thanks to their thick wool coats, sheep are capable of living outside in all but the harshest conditions, even in the Canadian winter. That means they can be raised both inside and outside. However, factors like how much pasture is available to the animals, the nutritional quality of available grass, what buildings are available, and how big of a problem predators are, like coyotes, wolves, bears, and ravens, can determine whether farmers decide to raise sheep inside or outside. On this farm, sheep are raised both in the barn and on pasture. While breeding, the sheep stay outside during the day and night. The pasture is used during the spring, summer, and fall, though the animals live indoors during the cold winter months. Sheep eat grass and drink from water stations while on pasture. Because these sheep can eat a lot of grass, it's important that they move around the pasture to give the grass time to rejuvenate. Low fencing separates the pasture into different segments, and the sheep are moved to a different segment every three days. Combined with the sheep's manure, this break in grazing helps the grass in each section of the pasture to regrow. Sheep that eat too close to the ground can also pick up sheep-specific worms, also known as parasites and other pathogens. So letting the grass grow taller helps keep both the sheep and the pasture itself healthy. It also reduces the amount of sheep-specific worms in a pasture. Guardian animals play an important role on this sheep farm. Sheep are vulnerable to predators like coyotes, wolves, bears, and even large birds of prey. That danger is particularly high at night, so guardian animals stay on pasture with the flock 24 hours a day. And dogs are not the only animals that can help protect livestock. Did you know that some farmers also use donkeys and llamas to protect their animals? Ensuring the animals receive the right nutrition is very important. If sheep need a bit of extra nutrition, during breeding or lambing season for example, farmers can feed them an extra ration of grain. Vitamins, minerals and salt can also be provided to the sheep, either in the grain ration or separately. Here we see the family using a trailer to drop the extra feed for the sheep. It helps to keep the sheep in good condition, which means they're healthier. Peter and Ellie's sheep stay on a pasture for two to three months. A week before lambing, the sheep are moved to a barn where they'll give birth to and raise their lambs. This is the nursery barn. Here, the ewes, or fully grown female sheep, give birth and care for their lambs during the first few days of life. Each pair has its own separate pen. This lets the ewes care for their lambs without being bothered by the other animals and helps the farm family ensure each lamb is receiving enough milk. It's important that the ewe and her lambs are given time to bond. Sheep can identify each other by smell, but also by the sound of their ba. Having the ewe and her lambs in their own pen also helps ensure that the lambs get enough colostrum, the special first milk from the ewe that helps develop the lamb's immune system. Ensuring lambs receive enough milk in the first few days after birth means they get a healthy start. After a few days in the individual pens, the ewes and lambs are moved into a larger group pen with other ewes and lambs of a similar age. In this barn, the ewes are fed a diet of forages, or dried grasses, and grains, like corn, while they're raising their lambs. They're fed twice a day and have access to clean water at all times. Straw is used for bedding in the barns. Here we see a tractor and blower putting straw into each pen. This happens every day, usually in the morning. The straw provides a warm, dry place for the animals to lay down. Lambs will usually stay with their ewes until they are between 30 and 60 days old. After that, they are separated into groups by gender and fed a diet of grains and forages. Some of the lambs on Peter and Ellie's farm are used for breeding purposes. These animals are either kept for their own flock or sold to other sheep farmers. The remaining animals are raised until they reach a weight of around 110 pounds, when they're then sold for meat through an auction system. Most sheep need to have their wool shorn at least once a year. This is done by an experienced sheep shearer, who uses electric clippers that are similar to a barber's shears. Like getting a short haircut, the wool is taken off close to the skin. This means the wool won't regrow too quickly and helps keep the sheep healthy. 
Having too much wool can make it difficult for them to get up or down. Sheep with too much wool can also get stuck on their backs more easily and are at a higher risk of heat stress during the hot summer weather. Manure can also become stuck on the wool, so it's important that the farmers ensure their animals are sheared at the right time. After being sheared, wool can be used to make a variety of products, including clothing, carpet, and even insulation for houses. This barn houses ewes that have not yet had their first lamb, as well as rams, or male sheep. Both the male and female sheep live together for a while, but are separated once the ewes reach an age where they can breed. When the ewes are in heat, or ready to breed, the rams and ewes are moved onto the same part of the pasture. Here we see the family weighing and loading sheep onto their trailer. The sheep go through an alley, or chute, where they step onto a scale. Their weight is taken and recorded, and then they walk into the trailer. To keep the sheep from stopping or blocking the chute, the farmers sometimes have to give them a slight push from behind. Usually, the sheep that have been through the weigh scale before are much more comfortable with going through it. Each animal is identified by a number on an ear tag, called a radio frequency identification tag. Information on each animal, such as weight, age, and any vaccinations or medications it has received, is linked to each animal's individual tag number. All this information is stored electronically in a data management system that the farmer can access at any time, either on their computer or smartphone. The trailer is designed to ensure the sheep have a comfortable ride. Like the barn, straw is often put on the floor to give the sheep something warm and dry to lay on. Vents on the trailer sides allow the air to move freely in and out, which keeps them cool in hotter weather. Stocking density, or how many animals the trailer can hold, is also a very important part of transporting livestock. Farmers have to follow rules detailing how many sheep can be transported together. Those rules and regulations, as well as many others relating to sheep welfare, can be found in Canada's Code of Practice for the Care and Handling of Sheep. By following the codes of practice, farmers ensure the best welfare for their animals. Thank you for visiting Peter and Ellie's Sheep Farm. If you'd like to find out more about sheep farming in Canada, feel free to click on the other videos in this section.